of them, uh, people with bags on their heads. And I mean, it was all, and, and the cops were like crazed in the military. The, 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 the hand-picked ones they'd gotten were just stomping around in the rain. They had them all tied up in the rain, getting off on stomping around and looking. It's just, just, just like hour after hour of power tripping like a child. I mean, that's the country I live in. About to walk in in a suit and tie with a microphone into a big city council building and cops pull up. Who are you? Get out of here. You're not going in there. Because they had, I guess, intelligence. I mean, I announced my guys were going about the death of this guy. You're not going in there. No, you're not allowed to. Well, what's the law? It just doesn't matter. Just get out of here. Just following orders, pal. I mean, that is bona fide naked tyranny. Okay, I'm going to go to break. Come back. Go to Freedom Fighter. Mark, Pete, Justin, Max, I'll get to all of you here. Briefly, uh, it is your funding of our operation that makes this broadcast possible, but that's not the main reason that you need to get involved in this. That's just a caveat. The Alex Pack, which is the Healthy Start Pack, has a tangy tangerine uh, and just the other incredible things that uh, you know the top developers these systems recommend, like Dr. Joel Wallach. Uh, the Tangy Tangerine is just incredible, but you can also get it by itself. And our listeners get discounts when you sign up to be a distributor at InfoWarsTeam.com. And I have lost now over 40 pounds on this. I mean, I was really fat, as you know, and working out and all the rest of it did not really help because I, I just didn't have the minerals I needed. And now, used to, I would eat like two plates of barbecue. I don't even eat a half plate of it now. Used to, I'd eat a whole steak and then want to order another. Now I eat half the steak and, you know, take the rest home. Uh, now I, you know, eat half a bowl of pasta and a salad. I don't want three bowls of pasta. It's because I'm getting the minerals I need beyond Tangy Tangerine. InfoWarsTeam.com will be right back. Stay with us. By the way, I just talked to Darren McBreen and Marcos Morales, our reporters, and there's been big developments in Roswell, Georgia, the site of the suspicious death of an evil chicken farmer who's now dead, thanks to the New World Order and Gen 21. There's been a new development with the police and others. They'll be joining us at the bottom of the next hour. Right now, let's go back to your calls. Freedom Fighter in Texas, you're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, here in Austin on May 12th. Hopefully we will elect Clay Defoe mayor. Clay Defoe is a longtime Ron Paul enthusiast who has been continually embarrassing the entire Austin city. Sir, I'm sorry. I can't understand you, and I appreciate your call. Your phone's distorted. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Mark in Nevada. Mark, you're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, it's good to talk to you, brother. I am pissed, okay? I'm originally from Canada, and uh, I immigrated here. I'm in FEMA Region 9 in Nevada. It's such a police state here, it makes me sick. I had a vaccine injury, Alex, in Canada, okay? The, the thing almost killed me. The doctors abandoned me. Everybody my uncle me was doctor. almost killed by a tetanus shot. It, it, my mother never got sick, took a flu shot, and almost killed her like 10 years ago because she was going to do a triathlon and, and wanted to do it a month before. She, I mean, it's just, it's dead. They're killing us. They admit the flu shot gives you the flu and they admit it never protects you from the next flu and it reduces your immunity and gives you Alzheimer's on record. But they say it doesn't give you autism though. I'm sorry, go ahead. Alex, the day I watched the groundbreaking show with you and Jesse Ventura, on conspiracy theory, and I use that title, that show, very loosely. That show is all facts. It was like watching exactly what happened to me. I couldn't believe others were suffering. For those who don't know, Homeland Security threatened uh, True TV. There was a bunch of behind-the-scenes stuff I can't talk about. Uh, but they pulled it from television because it normally airs more than 50 times over the next year. It aired once the police state episode that I, of course, was instrumental in engineering. I mean, I it had the biggest footprint in it of, uh, of any of the shows I've consulted on or been in. And uh, so, so tell us what happened to you. Well, pretty much, uh, if you go in there and, um, you know, I'm, I'm uh, 35 years old. I'm a few years younger than you. And I missed the hepatitis B vaccine in high school. I just went in for a checkup. And these nurses, this lady looked like Nurse Ratchet, okay? She was like the most evil. I should have got a hint right there. And she's telling me, okay, we can vaccinate you today. And I thought I missed a mandatory vaccine. 
big, huge posters, Alex, saying hepatitis B vaccine. It's safe. It's safe. Okay, I'm not a homosexual. I'm not an intravenous drug user. I'm not at risk. Okay, I got a kid. I'm a single Since parent. they began inoculating, everybody's getting it. But, 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 but so, so what happens? They give you the shot that they give babies, part of their brain damaging regimen they put them on at birth. What happened next? Right. I almost dropped dead. My whole body went hypersensitive. As you know, it's a three-shot series. The first shot, my, all my skin went red. I would I, immediately, I was just fatigued. I had joint pain. Oh, it but let me guess. Killing. They told you that it wasn't the shot that did it. You got it, sir. It was a coincidence. And it's not torture to, 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 to break people's arms, to make them answer questions, or to taser five-year-olds. It's not you torture. Know, and, and, we should all wear taser bracelets when we fly. Homeland Security's looking at me. That's freedom. I appreciate your call, extremist. I mean, you know, I'll, okay, I am the bad man. HBO, what they're doing. I'm, I guess I'm evil because I think HBO is doing bad things. By the way, see how we're conditioned? Nobody's even calling in upset about HBO. You know what HBO's doing? If you just joined us, I'll tell you when we come up in the next hour. Cover a bunch of news and your call. Stay with us. Ready into hour number three. I'll be back on the radio this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Let's continue with your phone calls. I'm going to hit a bunch of news in the segment after that. And then more calls. And then we've got a report from Georgia, side of the June 21 extermination operations going well. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Pete in Michigan. Pete, you're on the air. Hi, Alex. Can you hear me okay? I hear you pretty good, yeah. I uh, called in a couple days ago and talked to your health ranger about a case up here in Michigan that violated my Fourth Amendment right. Uh -huh. And uh, he had said that you folks might do a follow-up on it. I was just wondering if you were going to get back with me on the case. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I didn't hear the whole show that day, and I don't know what you're talking about. I, I missed the call. Um, basically, to sum it up, I uh, have been harassed by the local uh, law enforcement for 12 years. I've been a self-proclaimed info warrior fighting the power for that long. And, uh, you know, I've, I've got a string of arrests where they falsely arrested me and dropped charges, or I've won the cases because there was no evidence. Yeah, you might end up like the chicken man in Georgia because he kept winning, and, of course, they won in the end. <laughs> They've got the firepower. Uh, but... Uh, so does Kim Jong-il. He's winning. Uh, he's not alive anymore, but his son is ruling over North Korea. Another blessing of government. Government just makes the sun shine, the grass grow, the Easter bunnies hop. Um, send us more info, sir. I, I, I appreciate your call. You, know, you can also move out of the area, too. Uh, or you could go on the offensive in the info war and uh, really start exposing it, which I'm sure you've been doing. Justin in California, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello, Alex. Uh, this is Justin from FEMA Region 9. Okay, I think it's good uh, we announce what FEMA region we're in so other Americans start to realize, wow, I'm under a FEMA government and Congress is told what to do by FEMA, which is run by foreign banks. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, well, I was calling to say that, uh, you know, your show's changed my life. It not only opened my eyes to all the tyranny that's going on, but also to all the health issues. Uh, I want to say that I've been on the tangerine for about two months, lost about 30 pounds, feeling the best I ever felt. And it doesn't even advertise it's for weight loss. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing about the, I mean, look at me, folks. I was running and jogging and swimming and, you know, went from 270 to about 255, but could never go down. And I go on this and 40 pounds now, you know, the ad says 38 or whatever, but it's more than 40 now. Bam, 40 pounds. I mean, it's incredible. I'm doing the exact same amount of exercise. Well, technically now, though, a little more because I lost the weight. I can run further and things. But, yeah, show me you're endorsing the InfoWars team products. For sure. I, I, was, I started about 290, and uh, after about two months, I'm about 240 now. So, I mean. Did you notice that just suddenly? I, I mean, because I can't get my own food during the break, and I bought the office barbecue today. So they brought me a plate. It was like a big plate, and I, and I ate like a third of it, and then didn't even, I just stopped. In the old days, I would eat that entire plate. Exactly. I mean, it's just like a miracle product. You only eat half the stuff, the weight just falls off, you feel better than you ever felt. And Well, the reason for my call, though, is not to really uh, about the tangerine. Is yesterday I was involved in something, um, I, was I was almost arrested yesterday uh, by a police officer because I was having electrical problems at my house, and I went to turn the breaker box off because I had uh, flickering lights and arcing wires. 
So I went to cut the power to get my breaker box fixed. Uh, my next door neighbor shares a pump with me, a water pump, and it's run off of my power box. So when I shut it off, they called the cops on me, saying that I did it out of spite to cut them off of water, which wasn't true. I, I was cutting it off to prevent my house from burning down. I know. Listen, it, it's this culture, because again, the, who's really bad are these citizens who call the police for no reason. I mean, you, but folks, you better not call the police unless you got a serious issue. I mean, a lot of times I see stuff, and if it's petty, I don't even call the police. Because it, it, most of the time it just causes a problem. So what happened? The police officer came over, and I mean, you're going to get arrested now? Everybody knows when you're having problems, turn your electricity off. It's like if your toilet breaks. I've had a water line break. You go turn the water off. I mean, what? F finish the story briefly on the other side, then I'll get to all the news. And we'll get to Max, Jenny, Thomas, Philip, and others. All right, let me finish up with a caller here, and, and, and then I need to get back into some of the news I haven't covered yet, including some earthquake news. It's very important, obviously. Also, big predictions by uh, NOAA Weather Service of huge tornadoes throughout the middle of the country into Texas over the weekend with uh, some of the hot and cold air coming together. So definitely look out for that. You know, it's smart like the old timers had storm cellars. Nowadays, we just watch TV and do what the government says. That'll protect us from the tornadoes. It's this culture of, uh, of, of, of always counting on the system to do everything for you. The nanny state is totally domesticating us. Look at this article. I see stories like this all the time. And we'll put that uh, article on screen for PrisonPlanet.tv uh, viewers. A man was shot more than 90 times with no firearm or no weapon. His crime was running from the police. Okay, j j just so I can read it, I just want to have it where the headline and the text is like right there in the middle. That, that, that's the shot I want to show people right there. You just need to get a better computer. I know that computer is a little bit. See, I, see the edge is cut off a little bit. The way I want it is where you can see the white on the other side of the headline right there where I can see it. Eight L.A. officers fire more than 90 bullets at freeway chase suspect who said he had a gun. And so I can see over the fact that they claim that someone said that he had a gun, so he was shot 90 times. I mean, I, I think 90 is a little excessive. How about only 89 shots? <laughs> okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, go back and finish up with a caller who was talking about how, he, he I guess he's in a duplex, so his lights were going all crazy, his power was going all crazy, so he went and turned the power breaker off, so the neighbor, instead of talking to him, called the police on him. I mean, if I saw my neighbor flip a breaker and my power went off, I'd say, hey, Bob. Why'd you turn the uh, power off? What's going on? Before I call the police and then if Bob said, shut up, you deserve it. I'd be like, hey, you better turn that back on. Or I don't want to have to call the police. Quite frankly, I'd probably get mad, but uh, whatever. Go ahead and finish your story. So you're up to the point of you turn the power breaker off and that's connected also to the water pump that goes to both sides of the house. Uh, finish up with what happened. Yes, sir. It's, uh, well, we live in the country, 